What is going on guys, welcome to Gums Videos, my name is Kyle Gumper, today I'll be reviewing Alien Covenant. So I watched all the Alien movies, even the Alien vs Predator movies, which the first one was pretty fun, the second one's not that good, well actually who am I kidding, it's pretty shit. But I watched Alien Covenant with high expectations, did it meet those expectations? Somewhat. It was a very fun movie, but I had some problems with it. Like I mentioned earlier, I did not watch Prometheus. And it feels like I had to have watched Prometheus to understand some of the characters. Like there's one character, I'm not gonna spoil it, but this character does some things that make like that come out of left field. I'm like, why is this character doing that? But it feels like he, like it was explained in the movie Prometheus. And the movie should be self-contained. It should not have to rely on other movies that make sense. His character development was only there in Prometheus because it feels like he was just slapped there and like, oh, wait, wait what? Why? Like, it didn't make sense. So that's probably my biggest complaint with the movie and the ending. The ending, no spoilers, but it was very abrupt. I'm like, okay, that sucks. Wait, what? That's the ending? Okay, but let's get some of the positives. Danny McBride's Tennessee. He is definitely like my favorite character. I was like, Saying, okay, if he dies, I'm walking the fuck out of here. Did I walk out? That's what you're gonna have to find out. I mean, probably the time this is uploaded, you probably guys are like, oh yeah, I already saw it like seven times over, whatever. I have a lot more problems with this movie than pros. I did love Tennessee and I did like a couple other characters, but it feels like they were just there to be slaughtered. It, like, they had minor character developments, but that's it. It was very tiny, like, hey. Like, I'm a douche. Hey, I'm a clown. Hey, I'm funny. Hey, I'm loving. Hey, I'm this. It was, I won't say they were, were one noted, but I didn't get enough time with each of these characters. There's like a couple characters I was, was ex not expecting to die, but they died. But at the end, they were just there to be eaten up by the xenomorphs. Let's get some of the pros in there, because there are some pros. Obviously, the size, scale, the beauty of the filmmaking, the cinematography is fantastic. I love the way this movie looks. It looks beautiful, it looks gorgeous, and I like learning more about the xenomorphs. I did watch Alien 3 a long time ago, but I forgot about the xenomorph dog thing. But I learned a lot more about xenomorphs, how there's like different breeds, different brands, and then I was like, okay, these xenomorphs look cool, but where's the ones that we know and love the black ones with the, the, the little mouth thing. Then we finally get it. The story, the plot. <laughs> See, it, it, the movie I feel like was cut, not ruined, but it was very, it was brought down a lot because of the main villain. It's not the xenomorph. Guess a spoiler? But I'm like, really? It, 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 I just did not like the villain at all. But I am going to give this movie 3 out of 5 stars. Why I'm going to give it 3 out of 5 stars is just because it's very enjoyable. I learned a lot about the Xenomorphs and I found that part fascinating. I liked the look, the cinematography. I did like Tennessee and there was enough story there with him specifically that I could grasp on and just want more and more. So I did enjoy myself in the end. I want to hear your thoughts down below guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all crap. Later and goodbye.